Hi folks, how are you doing? Uh, just a quick warning and feel free to switch off uh, at any point. Uh, I'm not going to be preachy, but I think this is a really good video to make. Um, this channel was never about politics or anything. I have very strong political views um, uh, and you, you want to hear them, you can follow me on social media. F find me on Twitter and you'll see them, but it was never about politics. And I've always tried to keep politics away from my channel uh, and everyone just, you know, to get on. I mean, years ago, growing up in university, I had friends on the right, on the left, wherever, and we all got on. We had debates in the pub over, over various different topics, sometimes heated, sometimes not. And at the end of the day, we all got on with each other afterwards and still got friends now who are like massive socialists. And I'm not a massive socialist at all. I'm also not a massive conservative either. I'm kind of centre. Um, but... <laughs> I watched Monty's video from Mind Family Garden and he was he was very brave, actually. Uh, it, uh, and I know, well, I, I don't know because I'm, I'm a white guy. I'm an English white guy, but I'm an English white guy with a dis disability. So I, in, a, in a way, I, I know what how it can affect you being bullied online. Uh, his bullying is ridiculously, over, you know, it's 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 incomparable to mine in some extenses. But being a disabled guy, I, I get shit all the time um you know it, it, it's crazy and and i and I, i've got black friends asian friends and i know they go through racism and stuff on a daily basis but i think in the uk i'm going to i'm going to talk about the uk because i don't know much about america but in the uk there's been a rise in the last few years of fascism people are probably going to switch off now and go oh he's a crazy snowflake liberal i'm not i voted conservative for a long period of my life all right i'm center right at best kind of thing I you know I I little things like I think Margaret Pat Thatcher was an okay prime minister um so I am no way a crazy loony lefty at all I've noticed and Monty so true the last few years how the racism the ableism the sexism the homophobia everything is on the rise um in this country and it's ridiculous and it comes it comes down to there's a rise in fascism there is a rise in fascism we we see it now we see it all the time on social media people can quickly just jump in and say something repugnant and then disappear into the shadows um and they just leave the hurt there and and they think they get away with it and monty is bang on right with his dig it out hashtag for gardening uh it needs to stop it, it needs to stop in society all over okay and this is not about nationalism or any such other crazy ideology or anything like that it just needs to stop because it's fucking hateful and it's fucking horrible and, and it needs to end now all my life i have always been a believer in standing up for what you believe in um and if particularly standing up to fascists because a lot of people don't know this um but uh the first people the fascists victimized in in nazi germany were the disabled long before people had a problem with fascism the nazis were killing disabled people have a look at it early 1930s shipping people away uh, and before uh, fascism before the nazis went on and they attacked um, jews gypsies black people and everyone else uh, and lgbt they killed disabled people and it's a slippery slope and in the last five to ten years i've i've seen how disability hate crime is increased compared to what it was when I was a kid. I was a kid at school in the 80s and 90s, and it was it was really rough going having a disability in the 80s and 90s. But some of the hate that I'm getting now is worse than then. And I can understand how Monty's feeling from his point of view from racism, because it's the same horrid people that do this stuff. Um, they are, we, we, we label them as racists and we label them as ableists and all the rest of it and this, that and the other. But at the end of the day, they're fascists and fascists and Nazis. That they, 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 you know, they are they are horrible people. You know, these people want to pick on the most vulnerable in society. They want to pick on minorities because they generally don't have the bollocks to to actually stand up uh, and be decent members of society. They're basically the equivalent of schoolyard bullies. So they pick on people like me. They pick on people uh, of BME. They pick on people of LGBT because that's how they get their kicks and the only way we can stop it is if we challenge them and we challenge them whenever we see comments online on posts about race religion and everything else 
we challenge them and we don't let them get away with it and i am in full support of monty's dig it out it's just got to be done right and it's time we really made a stand there's a i'm an atheist okay and i put this out there i, I am an atheist i i don't like religion at all i, I can't bear any religion. i was baptized as a kid right i was church of england um never really went to church uh, my family are a little bit religious, but I'm an atheist. Don't believe in it at all. In fact, I despise most religions. I just think it's it's the, a, a, a sham and a scam. But to uh, to use a quote that is miscredited to Voltaire, I may not I may not believe in what you believe, but I'll defend to the death your right to believe it. And that's how I feel. That's how I feel. That's I I have no problem with anybody who is nice. I don't care whether you're Catholic, whether you're Muslim, whether you're atheist, agnostic, black, white, gay, straight, an alien from planet Zog. I really don't care. As long as you're a nice person, right, I like you and you should like me. We shouldn't have this horrible tribalism that is creeping into society more and more and more. And it's being fueled by people like Trump and it's being fueled by people like Boris Johnson who make these jovial slurs about race and religion and disability and it makes me so angry because those little seeds of hate by these famous politicians and actors and actresses and Lawrence Fox and Katie Hopkins and all those people that say these horrible things in tweets and then they go off into their lives it puts the seed of hatred in the mind of somebody else on the internet and they feel they have the right to then go onto My Family Garden and other FET pages and they post hate because they feel legitimised by people like Trump, Johnson, Hopkins, Fox, all of them. And it needs to stop now. Fascism needs to be stamped out. And it might sound like harsh, like you should be a pacifist and this and the other. And people will say fascism, well, it's just an ideology. It's not. It's an ideology of hate. It's an ideology of you are different and I am superior. And that is an ideology that the human race does not or should not have. We are human beings, for God's sake. We are all human beings. Cheddar Man, the oldest, the oldest person known to have inhabited Britain was a man or called Cheddar Man. They found his remains in a bog in the Cheddar Gorge. Right? They've done DNA analysis. Google it. I'll put a picture up here. Cheddar Man was black. He's the oldest Briton and he was black. We all came from the areas of Africa. We were all one species. It's just over time, when we moved around the world, we developed differently because of our climate. We evolved just like animals, just like bears in Alaska have thicker coats than bears in Romania. It's just an evolution. And the reason we have white skin and some people have black skin is just evolution. That's it, just from where they lived. Why can't people see this? Why sometimes do I feel like that we are in the minority? And I think the reason sometimes we feel like we're in the minority is because we don't stand up to the people that are actually in the minority and who actually are the racists, the ableists, the homophobes and the fascists. Because we... Because we cross the other side of the street, to use a religious analogy of the Good Samaritan, we walk away and we don't want to get involved anymore because of a fear of it kicking off or fear of this or fear of that or fear of the other and we don't want to get involved. And it's when we don't get involved that these horrible ideologies spread. This is how they spread in the, th in the 20s and 30s in Europe because people like the Nazis came to power and they started off very little, tiny little things just picking on the disabled. We'll put the disabled in homes and hospitals. Or we'll euthanise the disabled because, you know, it's not a quality of life. We'll get rid of that. And then once we've done it, so who else we move? Oh, we can move on to the, to, to the, to the gay people because, you know, you know, then, you know, we don't want them in our sight. So we'll get rid of them. And then we'll move on to the Jews and the gypsies, you know, and, and, and people, you know, from other parts of, of Europe that don't represent them. And that's how it starts. And we're at the start point now. We are at the start point. You look back through history. Just, just look back through history. A virus, a recession, a war. Okay? We're having the virus. We're about to have the recession. We are in the 1920s, 1930s now. Okay? In historical terms, that's where the human race is. 
And the next step, if we don't nip it in the bud now, will be some kind of catastrophic war. There's an argument now that it's already going on. It's already starting with the hatred for the Arab world and and ISIS and the incidents with Russia and everything else. But it all comes from hate. It all comes from this horrible nationalism. And we think that we're better and we're not. We're all the same. We are all the same. And again, we just need to be nicer to people and we need to pull people up. Um, we need to not let things slide. We need to stop crossing the street. We need to stop walking away from confrontation. And when we hear someone being racist, when we hear someone being ableist, when we hear someone, you know, aggressively taking the mick at someone's religion or the way they look, we need to we need to put ourselves to account. We need to stand up and say, no, no longer, no longer will we let this slide because it's not right. It doesn't matter where you are. It is not right. We have to treat people as we would want to be treated. Not everybody is the same. OK, not everyone is the same. There might be a really, really horrible, nasty person out there who is Muslim. But that does not represent every Muslim person in the world. Just like there's some really horrible white middle-aged men out there like Rolf Harris and Max Clifford and, and there was Jimmy Savile, right? They don't represent me. No more than ISIS represents the Muslims in Britain. So stop it and stop it now. I'm either going to put off a lot of people here and if I do, I don't care because this is my point. This is, this is me standing up. I stand with Dig It Out. And I stand with Monty and I stand up against racists and fascists, right? And we all need to do it. Um, my channel's not going to be political, okay? This is not going to be a regular thing because I think the majority of you will watch me. Um, I think you agree. And those of you who don't will probably ignore this and switch off. But we have to act and we have to do something. And if sharing Monty's video and sharing his Dig It Out even gets through to a tiny percentage of bigoted people and makes them change their opinion, then it's done its job. And if by us pulling up comments and pulling up people on social media who are making these horrible comments starts to nip this hatred in the bud, then we'll start to win. We'll start to win on the hate. Humans are strange creatures. We are strange creatures. Sometimes we, we forget that we exist in this world. We think we're superior in some way. We're not. We're a creature. We're, we're just like every other creature. Bears, monkeys, lions, whatever else. We're, we're exactly the same. And it's time that we start acting like a, an actual species. It's time we stuck together. It's, it's time that as a whole species of the human race, we just said we say no. No more. No longer will we put up with this hatred and it should stop now so please if you can pop over to my family garden share his video uh, follow him um, and and if you see hatred online pull it up report the people block the people pull them up on it if you want you know call them out on their hatred but no longer should we stand by and do nothing it's time we act 2020 has been a dreadful year. It's been an awful year. But it doesn't mean 2021 has to be as hateful as 2020 has been. So let's nip it in the bud. Let's dig it out.